decades, His Eminence Metropolitan Methodius has been able to establish a variety of different ministries. And thanks to your help and support, these continue to grow. Seeing him envision what we have today before us has been very gratifying to me personally. Here in the metropolis of Boston, through the support of our faithful, especially the FOSS program and the various volunteers who have come forth to make that a reality. Shortly after His Eminence Metropolitan Methodius became the spiritual leader of all the Greek Orthodox faithful in New England, we began our summer camp in 1990 with 49 campers. Throughout the early 90s, we grew from 50 campers to about 500 campers. And in 1998, the metropolis of Boston purchased close to 300 acres of beautiful, pristine forest land in central New Hampshire. This property was to become the home of our camp the purpose of the facility, as we hear in the Gospel, is to get away to a quiet place, to pray, to be together, to learn the Gospel and our faith. Our retreat house, open year-round, hosts not only Greek Orthodox faithful, but many other religious groups and nonprofit groups. So we continue to fund our projects with the income from our guests and visitors. Our goal is to fill our retreat house year-round with seniors, families, children, and all faithful throughout New England. Join us in Kentucky, New Hampshire to visit our facility, to see our programs, and to be together as Greek Orthodox. Family ministries of the Boston Metropolis consist of the marriage preparation programs and the family camp ministries, as well as family nights in local parishes. The family ministries of the metropolis seek to support the church of the home, to connect the life of the home and family relationships back to the life of the church. We continue going forward to look toward expanding this ministry to offer more seminars, to build upon the success of the marriage preparation program, to offer marriage retreats for couples. Orthodoxy on Tap is an effort to reach out and to identify and to embrace Orthodox young adults, young professionals in a venue other than the church, where they gather in a restaurant or in a pub in order to have a relaxed atmosphere, to have social interaction with one another, and to have a forum to discuss and debate current event issues and how our Orthodox theology and our faith encourages us to respond as a mature member of society, an active member of our congregation. The Metropolis of Boston FUS program has always been a supporter of the youth ministries of our metropolis. Ministries such as the religious education, the Greek education, our mission trips, and especially our athletic programs. The Metropolis Youth Basketball League is a opportunity for the children and the youth and young adults from around the metropolis to come together and play basketball in a friendly, orthodox environment. The Archdiocese asked Metropolitan Methodius and the Metropolis of Boston several years ago to spearhead an effort to study how we as a church reach out, embrace, and motivate our young professionals to continue to be active members of the church and to encourage their participation in the leadership of the church. And so we form the emerging leaders ministry in order to put forth a platform and a blueprint on how local communities across the archdiocese and our metropolises across the archdiocese can formulate programs, activities, but 
more so an atmosphere to encourage the full participation of our young adult population in the life and leadership of the church. Orthodoxy on Tap is a, a unique way to share those experiences in a setting which is comfortable for uh, many young adults. So it, it's important to uh, modify the setting and the context of which we meet as Orthodox Christians and make sure that it's a way that we can enjoy in all phases of our lives. Programs like Orthodoxy on Tap, programs like this Leadership Summit here in Boston are so important, so significant to eliminating this gap, getting these people involved because this age group has so much to offer. If it's not us who are going to make this happen, then who's going to do it? And if it's not now that this is going to happen, then when is it going to happen? The house is the brainchild of his eminence, our Metropolitan Methodius. He came here back in 1984-85. And when he came here, he realized there is a big need for people who are coming from Greece or other uh, places around the world because we have all those fantastic uh, hospitals here. There is a need to accommodate uh, families who do not have the means to face the illness and where to stay. Σα δέχομαι. Α ελπίσουμε ότι θα έρθω και σύντομα και υπόσχομαι ότι θα επιστρέψω. Well, that's all I have to say. Oh, it's like a miracle for us. And he feels like he's at home. It will depend on your love. We will depend on whatever you want to give us. Our children here, your children here are very happy. Years ago, many of the faithful came up with a program called FOSS, Fellowship of Orthodox Stewards. FOSS meaning light because Christ told us to be light in the world. So let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Many stewards from throughout New England generously contributed to help us fund these many ministries. Some of those ministries are, of course, our camp, our Faith and Heritage Center, our Philoxenia House, our Young Adult Ministry, our College Ministry, really reaching out and embracing all of the parishioners of every age, of every one of the 62 communities which comprise our metropolis. Please consider joining FOSS and helping me serve the people that have been entrusted to our spiritual care. Love, joy, and peace, and every heavenly gift to everyone who worships in our parishes throughout New England. God bless you.